Hey guys, in this video, we are going to take a look at Zen OS 9.0 based on Android 9.0 Pi for our Poco F1. So without wasting more time, let's start. So guys, the Zen OS is actually a developer's personal project which he has shared on XDA. So I'm just like making this video for it. So you can see it's Android 9.0 Pi with the latest security patch 5 February. And also it has the Kraken kernel with the kernel DAC 4.9.147. Getting back, you can see the Selenux status is also enforcing. So guys, we get the Yoga Launcher, which is purely based off Pixel Launcher by default. And you can see into the home settings, we get similar uh, stuff. You can see we have some additions like change icon shape, swipe for notifications. And you can see you also have the display Google app. Here you can see Yoga Launcher. You can see based on pure ASP Launcher 3 or the Pixel Launcher in like short. You can see the developer info, Vim, Polter. Now into the app door, you can see we have all like AOSP apps. Now some of the apps are installed by me. We have this action something, but it doesn't do anything. So it may be a system app. It's just here. And you can see the settings UI. It's, uh, it's really good. Uh, the black theme enabled by default. And you can see Qi customizations. So Qi is something I heard on Netflix uh, and Fish series. So maybe that is similar. And you can see status bar, nothing quick settings we get options so status bar maybe it's broken the customization thing quick settings row show tiles disable quick settings bottom like slider adaptive brightness and stuff then the themes you can see you can choose accent color base theme color device theme and prefer black themes and use like if you disable this it will give you the dark theme and if you enable this it will give you the pure black theme like amulet theme this is the like corners if you want you can just rotate and we have the buttons and gestures, advanced restart also we can see and we can enable advanced restart lock screen visibility so you can enable or disable upon your preference notifications it's also blank lock screen we get lock screen charging info and temperature unit double tag up to sleep on lock screen and also we have the volume panel customization in the sound settings so you can see you can customize the volume panel we have all of the options also you can move it to the left so these are the options like customizations available and this AOSP ROM base has really minimal customizations as you saw also we have the Xiaomi doors ambient display you can see and we have hand wave that's just experimented so you can see those works completely fine the ambient display always on and this hand wave Moving into system gestures, we also get the Android Pi gesture, which is the swipe upon home button. So you can see we can also use this gesture, which is like really famous now if you're using Android Pi. But still, some people uh, use the old navbar, which is really good for them. Also, guys, we don't have MIUI or GCam as the default. We get this uh, normal Google camera, which is not at all. Uh, it's good for this. So you can enable camera to FBI. Flash MIUI camera or Gcam which is really useful for this device. And guys that's it for the video review of the Zen OS 9.0 Pi review, uh, Pi ROM for our Poco F1. So if you guys really like this video, press the like button. If not, press the dislike button. Subscribe for more videos on the Poco F1 and other devices. And I will see you guys in the next one. Till then, bye bye.